Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. This is Dot, my one-year-old 90-pound rescue puppy. And this is our brief daily message of hope. We have arrived at day two of the week that changed the course of history. Uh, this is Monday, and uh, we are making our way in the footsteps of the Lord Jesus as he walks his final week um, in Jerusalem on the way to the, the cross that awaits him. I have been, as uh, I do almost every Palm Sunday and uh, into Holy Week, think of the haunting refrains of uh, the Passion Chorale uh, harmonized by uh, J.S. Bach. That's in my mind this morning. It's a haunting uh, refrain as we uh, uh, go through this week, knowing that uh, the end of this week will be the, uh, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. But a lot happens in Jerusalem this week. Yesterday at Palm Sunday, the Lord Jesus was at the highest moment of popularity uh, with the large crowds in Jerusalem shouting hosannas and waving the palms as he entered uh, into Jerusalem for the, the Passover festival. The, uh, eight-day uh, celebration of the uh, most important feast day in the Jewish calendar, the Passover, when uh, the Jewish people look backwards in time, as they still do today, uh, to the mighty deliverance of God's people from bondage in Egypt. Uh, Jesus, as was his uh, custom during Holy Week, and, and his apostles went uh, out of Jerusalem yesterday evening uh, back to the re region around Bethany, two or three miles uh, from Jerusalem around the Mount of Olives. Uh, and uh, today, on day two, <clears throat> he goes back into Jerusalem, into the temple precincts, where he would be teaching uh, and being challenged uh, during uh, his time there by the religious authorities uh, for the words that he was saying. Uh, but today he did something extraordinary. He uh, went back into the temple and noticed all the money tables that were set up and the uh, animals that were being sold for uh, sacrifices uh, in the temple uh, and how there was price gouging and you know, Jewish people were free to bring their own appropriate animals uh, uh, to be sacrificed unless they had blemishes on them and then they had to purchase animals uh, to offer the sacrifices. Uh, and of course, there were always blemishes found where uh, there were probably none, and there was money being made. Uh, and Jesus uh, stormed into the, the, the outer uh, uh, gate of the temple and uh, turned over the tables and made a, a, a whip of cords and drove the money changers out, knocking things over and releasing the sacrificial uh, animals, the, the, the pigeons, the uh, turtle doves, uh, and was saying, my father's house, it's said in scriptures to be a house of prayer for all people, and you've made it into a den of robbers. Such was his indignation at those who set obstacles uh, in front of access to God, who invites all to come to him. And so Jesus's righteous anger boiled over in the temple today. And there were those in his entourage and in the crowd who thought maybe this was to be the mighty military Messiah that was long awaited. The powerful deliverer like David or Moses who would drive the Romans out and restore the kingdom uh, of, of David. Uh, and so the, Jesus's popularity was almost heightened even more today as the crowds were even more excited and the ones who were afraid of Jesus were even more fearful because the Romans were watching from the fortress Antonia uh, and Pontius Pilate 
who normally didn't come to Jerusalem at all because he couldn't stand it, uh, was there with his elite cohort of soldiers uh, who were ready at a moment's notice uh, to restore order if a riot broke out. They'd done it before, and uh, they were well trained on how to do that. And there were those in the uh, authorities, the temple authorities and the religious leaders who were fearful of that, that the Romans would rise up and uh, violently suppress any uprising. And then something even more extraordinary happened tonight on this second day of the week. Jesus and his apostles went back to Bethany, uh, as was their custom at the home of Mary and Martha and Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead just a couple of days before. Uh, and Mary brought a, a jar of costly ointment uh, and anointed his feet and uh, wiped his feet with her tears and with her hair uh, and anointed him. And of course, this made some of the apostles furious, including Judas. Now, why wasn't this ointment sold for a, a large profit and the money given to the poor? Uh, but instead, Jesus says, let it be so. She has anointed me for my burial and she has done a kind, compassionate thing. So in the midst of all of this, on day two of Holy Week, Jesus once again refers to his burial and his death. So we are making our way into this week, and we will see soon this week how the crowds that so anxiously shouted Hosanna to the Son of David could so readily on Good Friday shout, Away with him, crucify him. You are in the middle of the week that changed the course of history. God be with you, and I hope you have a blessed day today. And Dodd and I will see you here tomorrow for day three. God bless you.